I'm Alvaro Trigo, the creator of Full Page, and in this video I want to talk to you today about Full Page extensions. Uh, these are a new feature that I've added um, since uh, Full Page 2.8.3, and that uh, will be available in future releases as well. You can see, you can access uh, to them through the examples in the website. Here you can see four different extensions that uh, are available in Full Page at the moment. You can also access to them through the documentation or through other links through the website. So um, we are going to be checking, for example, continuous horizontal, where you can see uh, the extension working as expected, going from slide 1.3, which is the last slide of the section, to the first slide by just scrolling in the same direction. Um, if you click here in more extensions, you'll you'll go to the main extensions website where you'll find four different extensions at the moment. Continuous horizontal, interlocked slides, scroll horizontally, and reset sliders. We are going to be using uh, reset sliders in this example. What this extension does is just scroll back the slider to the first uh, slide whenever you leave to another section. So um, if you are in, let's say, the last slide 1.3, and you leave to the second section, you, whenever you go back, you will always going to see the first slide of the slider. So once you buy it for a very reasonable price, you'll get a file, a JavaScript file, which will look like this. Fullpage.resetsliders.min.js Once you get that fi this file, the only thing you have to do is, uh, well, place it, well, you don't have to place it exactly in the same place where full page is, but uh, in this example, we're going to do it this way to make it easier. Um, so if I, I have also here the folder fullpage.js, which is um, the folder, well, all the files that you get when, once, you, once you download full page from uh, Bowel or from the website, from um, GitHub. If you open it, you'll see we have exactly the same structure you can find in GitHub with the examples folder that we are going to be using and the file full page.js that it's included in all the examples. So we are going to be moving the extension right to the sliders in the same directory as the file full page.js. Here we have now reset sliders.min.js and here we have Full page we are going to be working with um, the demo page example, which is the example that shows how the demo page was made. We are going to open it. And the only thing we have to do right now is just uh, locate where we are including the um, full page script and just over it add the name of the extension, the file, the extension file. So in this case, it's fullpage.resetsliders.min.js. Here we have it. And now, well, if you read the documentation, you'll see that to use this extension, you'll need to use um, the option reset sliders true. We add the option and hopefully we have it working by now. We open the file, we scroll down, this is the first slider, second slide in the slider, third slide. If we scroll down, you'll see that now, whenever we go up again, we are not going to be seeing the number two, but we are going to be seeing the first slide of the section, create sliders. So let's do it. We scroll down, and when we scroll up, we are seeing the first slide of the slider. It is as easy as this. I mean, you only have to add the file before full page and then use whatever option you have to use. To find which option you have to use, you only have to check the documentation available at GitHub. And uh, you will find there all you need to know about the extension. And that's it. 